Hello and welcome to this YouTube tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make a text box with a module called TK Inter. At the top of this file, I have two import statements. So in order to use these import statements, it's necessary to install the modules. So in this case, we are going to go through the command, which is pip 3.12. It's 3.12 because I'm using Python 3.12. You might just be using pip or pip3, but I'm going to use 3.12. I'm going to say pip 3.12 install tk, press enter, and I already have TK installed, and this is where it's installed. So I can proceed with the code. Now I have a function called prompt with zero parameters here. And now I'm going to write the code. First, I'm going to write or define an instance Just like that. So we have we have an instance, TK instance. And now what we're going to do is say that we have a project name, or suppose that we have a project name, and the text box is going to prompt the user for the project name, and then this function, when it's called, will print the project name that the user enters into the text box. So the way you do that is with this simple dialog. So I'm going to say simple dialog dot ask string project name, enter project name, and we also need to pass in a parent, which is the TK instance. All right, so I guess I could run this and you can see what happens, or I can just go ahead and print out the project name that the user enters. So this on the right side returns a project, well, returns something that gets stored in the variable project name, and then I print project name. So let's run this function and see if it works as we think it does or as we think it will. Going to use the terminal window and say Python 3.12. And the name of this file is prompt.py. I believe I'm in the correct directory. OK, so we have two windows that have popped up. The first one is something I didn't expect. And the second one is a project name, which is what I expect because I wrote project name here. So I'm going to click cancel. You see both windows disappeared. And I'm actually going to say TK instance dot withdraw to withdraw the first window that I didn't expect and see if it goes away. And it did. We only have one window now. Maybe you would like to use that other window that popped up. But in this particular tutorial, I'm just going to use this simple dialog. So I'm going to say the project name is test. Press OK. And you can see in the terminal, test was printed as expected. So that's how you use 
TK enter to enter in text into a text box. I hope you enjoyed this simple introduction to TK enter. <laughs>